Steve Swallow is one of the pioneers of the electric bass. He, perhaps more than anybody else, has done more to legitimize the electric bass in straight ahead jazz. In this video, I'm going to show you one of Steve Swallow's signature riffs that I think can really open up your walking lines as well as give you some new ideas for soloing. Now, Steve's playing is as unique as his gear. He plays a 36 inch scale, five string bass that's strung E to C. So E, A, D, G, C. Steve's also very unusual in that he plays exclusively with a pick. Now, I can't verify what he uses today, but according to an old interview, he said that he exclusively uses picks made out of copper. Now, stylistically, Steve is the definition of grace and subtlety on the instrument. His walking lines are often paired with upper chord tones that he mixes in, much like a jazz guitar player. And his beautiful solos use slides and bends and slurs and other embellishments. Okay, so jumping right into it, the riff that he uses in nearly every single solo, every walking bass line, and pretty much any recording I can find of Steve Swallow, he plays some variation of this riff. And the riff sounds like this. Now, that idea is just one, seven, one, three, of whatever chord he's playing. So in this case, I'm playing over a C major 7 chord. So I'm just playing C, B, C, E. So you can see I'm sort of pivoting away from the root and then reaching up to the third. That's how I like to think about this. And you can use this over any chord. So say, for example, you were playing over a C minor 7 chord. You would just change the 7th and the 3rd to minor. Now this riff can be an entire bar of a walking line, or it can be used as a motif for soloing. It's really useful. Now before I go on explaining some more about this riff, I just want to take a quick moment to say thank you. If you're new to this channel, I've been uploading videos like this for the last couple of months. Since I've been doing that, I've been getting a wonderful response and my channel has really grown. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure you hit subscribe and leave me a comment below letting me know what you think. Thanks a lot. A great way that we can practice this riff is to apply it to the major scale. So in this case, we're going to apply it to the C major scale and we're gonna make an exercise out of it. And what this does is it gets us comfortable playing this motif over all the chords in the major scale. So let me just quickly demonstrate what it might sound like to throw this into your walking line. So here I'm going to just walk over a 2-5-1 progression in the key of C. And because it does such a good job of describing the harmony, you can use it in your solos as well. So I'll demonstrate that. So I'm going to solo over the same progression, D minor 7, G7 to C major 7. Next I want to show you a couple of variations that Steve Swallow often uses. The first variation will be over a minor chord. So let's go back to our D minor 7 chord. Oftentimes, instead of pivoting to the 7th, in this case down a whole step, he'll pivot chromatically. So he'll pivot to the note right below it, as if he were playing, say, a major 7. But then still go to the minor 3rd. And this variation works because the chromatic note wants to pull back to the root. It's a bit like a chromatic approach note in walking bass lines. So lastly, I'll show an alternative that Steve uses over his solos. So in this case, instead of pivoting around the root, you can pivot on any note in the chord. And what this does is it gives you a different color over that chord. So this way, instead of really spelling out the one, the seven, the one, and the three, instead you can get some more colorful options. For example, if you were to start this riff on the three of the D minor chord, 
you'd be spelling out a really beautiful minor ninth sound. Over this D, it sounds like this. Now compare that to the original. It's just a different color. Let's try pivoting around the fifth. So I hope what this demonstrates is just how much mileage somebody like Steve Swallow gets out of a simple idea. Who knows why he loves this particular riff, but again, he uses it absolutely everywhere. A good record to check out Steve Swallow's playing is a record called En Route by the John Schofield Trio, and one of my favorite live concerts ever is actually here on YouTube, which is Steve Swallow and his partner Carl Bly doing a bass and piano duet. And that one's great because Steve takes a lot of solos and you can really see just how graceful and how beautiful he can really make this otherwise clunky instrument sound. It's really something to see. Alright, so that wraps it up. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit subscribe, hit like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.